we all know that the Buddha taught us that we should take his teachings and see what works. He does that. He makes that offer because he's confident that the teachings are going to work. The question is, what counts as working? What's good enough? Because there's more to his teaching. He tries to raise our standards for what's good enough. There were teachers in his time who taught some very high, refined states of concentration. But for the Buddha, they weren't good enough. So he looked elsewhere. And it was because he looked elsewhere that we have the Dharma now. He held himself to a high standard. As he said, he never let himself rest content with skillful qualities until they'd been fully developed. So he wasn't just the person to just sort of get by. Put enough to get by and that's enough. That's not his attitude at all. What more can be done? What can be done better? What am I missing that I'm making unnecessary suffering for myself that I'm not aware of? That was his attitude. And if you want to get the most out of his teachings, that has to be your attitude too. We're not here just to get by, just to put in time. Or to look good to the world outside. We're here because we've got a big problem in the mind, a problem in the heart. And if we don't uproot it totally, it's going to fester. It's like an infection that doctors sometimes will get a little bit of the infection out, but some of it's still buried deep inside. Well, it's going to fester again. You want to look deeper inside. That means you have to push yourself more than you might want to. The Buddha talks about the middle way. Well, what is the middle way for him, and what is our notion of the middle way? Are they in the same spot? His middle way was a lot closer to what we would see as extreme. But then he benefited from that, and he pushed his students to hold themselves to high standards too, because they would benefit. As he said, if developing skillful qualities made you miserable or did not lead to happiness, you wouldn't teach it. Everything he taught was for the sake of happiness a real lasting happiness. But he wants you to raise your standards as to what counts as true happiness. There was a wanderer who came to him one time. It turned out that the saying that Nibbana is the highest health had made its way into the schools of the wanderers as well. But for them, the highest, highest health was just the fact that the body was okay, not, not in pain. And as the Buddha said, there's a health that's much higher than that. And so it, taught the wanderer to hold himself to a higher standard as well. That was his act of compassion. So learn to hold yourself to a high standard. You're not here just to get by, or to put in enough so that you can get by. You're here to dig down into some problems that are going to fester in your mind if you don't, <coughs> if you don't dig them out. So the higher your standards, the more likely you are to eradicate that problem, and it's a way in which you show genuine compassion for yourself.